3.30 in the morning, about 30 degrees, turkey tag, May 12th. Um, I found out my dad has one too, I'm just waiting on him. We're going to head over. Uh, those blinds are hopefully still set up from Parker's turkey in the youth season. It's the last time we were over there. I'm going to try and shoot one with the bow. We'll see what happens. All right, here I am, day two. You obviously saw I did not get a turkey yesterday. I uh, had a lot of opportunities, but me deciding to take the bull for some reason, uh, could not get the shot. It is a lot tougher than I thought. So with the bull and a turkey tent, you just have that one little window you're opening up and where your decoys are, and that's where the camera is, and that's where you're gonna shoot. So I had Tom's coming around behind me, both sides, 15 yards. So with a gun, I could have easily just turned and shot him, especially if you're sitting on the ground without a tent. Uh, so it is much more challenging with the bull. And then on top of that, trying to video it. So so yeah, I, there's, they had opportunities, but I, which is fine, I chose to video and but overall, it was a really good hunt. I, I had a lot of turkeys gobbling. I was kind of surprised later in the year like this. That this is the fourth season, I think. Uh, I wasn't sure how it was going to be. So it was just a, a good morning. So hope, today is about the same. Like The weather is actually going to be a little warmer today. Uh, so hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be better. I'm going to sit on the ground in a different area probably just take the shotgun and be much easier that way <laughs> just got over here looks like it's gonna be a good morning uh like i said yesterday i had a bunch of toms come in from behind me skirt the decoy or the skirt the tent that was in i think once they saw the decoys they seemed to skirt the outside of them just out of range and then hang up in a field that's like 20 yards from the decoys and they just work the edge of that field strutting and gobbling like crazy, answering every time I call. But I think I'm kind of convinced that, especially in a woods setting, that they, once they find the hen or see the hen, they set up, kind of hold up outside of it, strutting and gobbling and wanting the hen to come to them. Those two of them that came in, they sat there for a half hour, a good half hour, just working the edge of the field, strutting, gobbling, answering every time I called. Uh, I couldn't do anything to get them to come in. So I'm kind of convinced sometimes maybe that if you're in a woods setting, to maybe not even use a decoy at all. Because essentially you're the hen, and they're going to come in, and they can hear so well, they pinpoint where the hen is. Because they literally came on top of my blind from behind me. So they knew exactly where it was, but once they saw that hen, then it was kind of, they left it up to her to come to him. So maybe it is good just not use a decoy and let them circle around in front of you looking for her. But today I'm going to set up in the edge of this field on the north side where it seems like all the turkeys this year have been 
coming out to that field in the morning, goblin, goblin, and they should be able to see me. Maybe I'll put a couple hens out and see if I can draw something in. And that's how it's done. <laughs> so I sat all morning down there and saw I don't know how many turkeys. They just kept piling in this field out here, so I said to heck with it. Made my way back to the truck. I thought I'd sneak around. And this cover of this grass here is perfect. I saw a fan on the other side. And I uh, just crawled through the grass calling as I go and they were actually coming closer when I got in there they're all over I can see them shot I don't know what happened on the first shot um, but then uh, I see them just scatter and they didn't know what happened so I just took a couple more I don't know how I was missing I don't know nerves or what but ended up uh, dropping them <laughs> just like that but you got to be resourceful sometimes doing that belly crawl Awesome. So here he is. Awesome morning again. Uh, saw a ton of birds, lots of hens. They all wanted to go on top of that hill. 
picked out a couple times and then they just kept accumulating, accumulating. It was just a crest up there. I can see the top, so they must have been coming from all over because every time I looked up there, it seemed like there was more and more birds. But uh, yeah, it's a good one. Uh, it's heavy, um, maybe a 10 inch beard. The spurs aren't too long, but it seems like these birds over here are just, they're not old, but they're, they get real heavy. Parker's was 26 pounds and he only had like inch spurs, not even. But uh, yeah, so I backed out of the, my spot down there because I was sick of just sitting there watching these up. They weren't gonna come away from them hens. There's, I don't know how many times. So I used my umbrella that I had, it's like a huge turkey fan, to conceal myself. Backed into the woods, took all my stuff. You gotta pick everything up, of course. Cameras and decoy. And, um, backed into the woods, went all the way around, snuck up the tree line, got back up here. Thought I better check this little grass patch here. It's maybe 50 yards wide. Sure enough, I thought I could see a fan through it. I wasn't sure, sat and watched it for a while, then it folded up, so I'm like, oh, it's definitely a turkey. Dropped everything. Belly crawled all the way through, or as low as I could get. Chirping, clucking a little bit with my mouth call. They just thought I was a hen coming through. Just kept going and going. I knew I, I couldn't see them at all, so I knew they couldn't see me. But if I kept clawing, it's gonna keep them calm, so they could hear me coming, but probably, like I said, thought it was a hen. Um, finally, I could see where he was definitely close enough. I stood up, he was 10 yards. Um, shot, I, I had to have hit him, but he obviously didn't go down. Shot again. Then they all took off, and then I fouled him and shot him again. Three shots, but I'm only shooting a Remington 870 pump, two and three quarter with just regular turkey loads I've had forever. There's no choke or nothing like that, so it's not bad. If you hit them right, they'll go down. Just gotta hit them enough, I guess. But uh, it was awesome. Boys are gonna be excited. We got a few more tags, like the last season, like me and the boys. So we'll, uh, there's definitely enough birds around, but what a hunt. It was awesome. Stalking them. Thank you.